Where do bald eagles go when they leave the nest? How far do they fly? And where do they hang out on those stopovers? Well, up to now, there's been no reliable way to know for sure. But as Rick Wells shows us, researchers in Oklahoma have been tracking a pair of young eagles since June using satellite and GPS technology. Benzar is a bald eagle hatched and raised here at the Sutton Avian Research Center in Bartlesville. Had he been one of the nearly 300 eagles the center has hatched and released into the wild, where would he have gone? Well, the folks here decided to find out. We started tracking on June 1st. With the help of some funding from NatureWorks, researchers attached GPS transmitters to a pair of eagles hatched near Sand Springs, then watched. For the first month or so, they stayed very close to the mass. Alan Jenkins, Dan Reinking, and Center Executive Director Dr. Steve Sherrod are sharing a bit of what they're learning from this new way of tracking eagles. What habitats do they need to uh, survive? One thing they found is that these young eagles use the sandbars and the river as fishing perches, like this one in the Arkansas River near Sand Springs. The numbered dots on the map represent a day, and the red lines the general track from one day to the next. All of these days, the young birds are perfecting their hunting skills close to home. It's the kind of information that you could only get by actually going out there and physically watching the eagles 24 hours a day. Well, now they can follow them from the office, and over a longer period, the transmitters have solar batteries and should last three years. It's actually a period of, of the bird's life that has been largely neglected because there was no way to gather this kind of data. And to their surprise, these two young eagles have ventured far from home. One near Houston and the other around College Station, Texas. That's right, Texas. Rick Wells, News on 6.